We are on a date right now. <laughs> I'm, I'm about to interview Kimmy, you know. should not have dogs honestly I personally shouldn't have dogs because I move around way too much mm. but my first dog I had him since he was like three months old so then I wanted to get him like a company so then I got the big dog so now they keep each other you know give give each other company but I, I'm still like always like going out or like traveling so it's kind of like mm. I shouldn't have a dog but hey it is what it is at least they're not kids did you move around a lot what do you mean Burke a lot and then I work from home a couple of days. I like traveling. I like doing things on the weekend, whether it's like in town or out of town. So, you know, things like that. Like I move around a lot. Like I'm not always home. So it's, I, it's just me and my dog. So like, you know, I honestly do not like being home. So what does that mean? You don't like being home? You on the streets? Or? I don't like being home. I like I'll being out. Experience in life, whether that's out or at the beach or traveling or with friends or at dinner or at brunch at the club. Okay. Like I just like being out. Okay. Mm -hmm. So you're not much of a homebody. No, not at all. Okay. Is that a problem? Are you a homebody? I doubt it. If you're an entrepreneur, you gotta be, you know, in, in the scene. No, I don't, I don't like being in the scene. I'm very low key. I'm like, I. When I go out, I go out just enough to make people miss me. Like, oh wow, I haven't seen Caleb in a while. You know, I don't stay out in the scene. I'm very low key. Um, I don't like being. I don't really like crowds of people. I don't like familiarity all the time. Like people trying to miss me. And I hang in like I like traveling. I travel a lot. Um, uh, for like nightlife, that's not my cup of tea. I go to the coffee shop. I go to the gym. I'm very like structured and routine. When I'm in the city, like I do the same thing. I go to the beach. I just recently got scuba certified, so I'm very much like an outdoors person. I fish a lot. Family's important to me, so I spend a lot of time with. I'm, I'm definitely an outdoors person. Are you? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I've seen the club bites when you in Peru, so. What? Tell me about that. What? You got some club bites in Peru. Oh, I know. I went on a trip, but it was so much fun. 
So we went like hiking. I never been hiking in my life. That was like actually my first time hiking, and it was like crazy. How are you, you outdoors person? That's your first time hiking. Okay, outdoor it could be anything. It could be All at right. the beach, anything outdoor. Okay. But that was like extreme for me. So I think the first time I ever went hiking was like in California when I went to visit a friend. But it was like baby okay. hiking. It wasn't like okay. real hiking. All right. All right. This right here, we walked for like three hours to go to Machu Picchu and then three hours back to catch the bus and then go back to the hotel. Okay. But it was it was cool, it was very tiring, but honestly like when we were walking, like you would see people like in the morning, like you know, either going to like taking their kids to school, but then like they're walking in like it's like the jungle, like you know, literally, and that's how they live every single morning. You have people that do that whole walk for like four days. And like I did it for three hours, and I was like, "This is like not for me at all." Like I don't think I could do that. Mm-hmm. But it was definitely it was fun. Okay. So do you feel like are you even like girly girl type, or are you like half and half like girly girl, but you you can get your hands dirty here? I'm very know. like I'm very tomboyish and very girly. So okay. you know, like if I gotta get dirty, I'm gonna get dirty. But I'm also like very girly. So kind of like a fifty fifty. Okay. Okay. Right. I like it though. Alright, so, so tell me a little bit about your upbringing. So I know you're Puerto Rican. Uh, yep, I'm Puerto Rican. I'm, I'm, I was born and raised in Puerto Rico. That's actually how I'm like, kind of like a tomboyish because I was, you know, like raised by my mom and my dad. And I was very, very close to my dad. And I was super like tomboyish with him. Like anything he was doing, like I was right there with him. Okay. And then he passed away. So like when I was 13, so then I became like more closer to like her mom and my sister. So then that girly side, you know, started like coming out. But I was like, I never had a doll or a Barbie growing up. Like I was like a bicycle scooter type of girl. Like I'm like I just want to be like outside. That's just I've always been like that. Okay. So, but it was it was fun. Oh, that's good. That's good. Um, how many siblings do you have? Just one sister. Older? Yeah. Okay. Uh, how many years apart are you? Uh, we're four. Four years apart. Mm-hmm. Yeah, she's 31. Okay. Mm-hmm. Do you have brothers? I do. I have an older brother and I have a younger sister. And an older brother, we're 10 years apart, and then my little sister, we're 5 years apart. I'm a middle child. Oh, okay. Yeah. But well, it's cool, though. I enjoy, um, I enjoy my siblings. I enjoy my family, being able to spend time with them, you know. Especially having a little sister. It's like, I'm glad my little sister is younger than me because I feel like I'm able to guide her and keep her away from certain things. I'm yeah. able to like provide and protect for her in a certain way, you know, like as a brother. Of course, she has my dad, but you know, I'm thankful for that experience. You yeah. Know? Are you are you that type like in relationship? Like you're the provider and protector? Absolutely. Yeah, I'm very much like once I give my time to somebody and I take them serious and like we move towards a relationship, I understand my role, you know, um, and I understand the role that I desire to play and I communicate that, you know. Um, that's like how I was raised, you know. I saw my dad be a provider, be a protector, um, and and in multiple ways, not just financially, but but with love, with discipline, with structure. Um, with laughter, with humor, with, with fun, you know, I saw a good balance between him and my mother, you know, like, in their roles and their duties as husband and wife, so that's, that's big for me, that's why, like, dating is so serious for me, like, once I, like, I don't just introduce people to, like, my family and friends, like, right off the bat, it takes, it takes time for me to really, like, get to know somebody, you know, because, you know, moving to that point of, like, all right, you know, I like you, we're in a relationship, um, that's, that's a big step for me, you know, because when I do date, I date for the intention of, like, marriage being the end goal. I don't just date without an end goal. I don't just date to date, you know, so I've only been in three relationships. So, why you, why are you so serious about dating? Why you decided to take me on a date? <laughs> why did I decide to take you on a date? Well, I, we're on the talking phase. This is the, this um, is the intro. This is like, I think this is the disconnect, because I go dating, talking, relationship. There's no disconnect, this is your point of view. So you go you go talking and dating in a relationship, like how Yeah, I go I go talking and then no, there's there's no we're we're talking and so I go through like this. Like so the first ninety days is just like talking, getting to know one another. So I'm on a ninety day probation? Yeah, ninety day probation. Oh. Yeah, so if you get past the ninety day probation, then we have a conversation. I said I have a conversation with you like, okay, I think things are going well, we learn a lot about each other, we still have a lot more to learn. But after that point in time, then I would ask you, like, okay, like, are we, are you willing 
able, ready to be my girlfriend. <laughs> and then we move to that next phase. I feel like process. it's kind of like a contract. Like, where's that romance? You know, do you want to be my girlfriend? Like, are you cute about it? It's just kind of like, we're going to sit down. You're going to sign this contract. No, 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 I'm, just, I'm, just breaking <laughs> down the, I'm just breaking down the logistics of it right now. <laughs> like, when it happens, it happens, you know? Um, but that's just my process. That's my flow. That's how I do things. I'm very much a man of, like, direction and order. You know, I don't just, like... Oh, I don't know what we doing. We having a situation shit. Like, you know, I don't know where we stand at. I don't you know. You don't live like, in gray areas. Nah, I don't. I found gray areas. <laughs> um, anytime somebody, you know, I feel a gray area, or like somebody's unsure, it's like, all right, cool. Like, well, you don't have to like continue this process, you know. So that's with that ninety days to like six months. I'm big on friendship. I'm big on like just taking our time, like not jumping into romance or intimacy in any form, you know, but really just being friends for like three to six months. And then like, if we both feel comfortable, like, wow, okay, I really know you, we've let our guard down. Cause it's easy to like, to play a role. It's easy to like, yeah. like somebody and like put on your best self. But like, I think it's, it's important for us to both see our flaws and see our weaknesses, you know, like, I'm a pretty perfect person sometimes. That's you know? cocky. That's, That's not, confidence. That is not. I hate when people say that. I'm as confident. No, it's not. There's there's a thin line between you being like super cocky well, the, and confident. The, the more that you learn, it, you and you're not perfect. We're, none of us are. I perfect. said I got some flaws. Now I'm 80 80 percent of the time I'm correct. I got I got a 20 percent error. You know, so that's my margin. But yeah. How do you deal with people's flaws? Because I feel like nowadays people be like, oh, I want someone that you know, like I can work things, I can work out, like I can work through things, but in reality, the minute somebody starts showing, like, nowadays is like, red flags. People are, like, so quick to be like, oh my god, like, he didn't do this, so, like, that's a red flag. And then the minute people see, like, a red flag, which, to me, a red flag, it's a, it's a flaw. It's right. not really, like, a red flag. Right. It's just, like, what's, like, that thin line where it's, like, okay, it's a red flag or a flaw, whatever, however you want to define it, but, like, you know, no one's perfect, so, like, are you willing to, like, work through those flaws? Like, what are your, like, your deal breakers? Because we all have those deal yeah. breakers but then like don't confuse deal breakers we're like okay she got she showed me one red flag i'm done and i'm on this, this i'm on this 90 day formation i already feel the pressure no 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 it's like i give everybody like generally two chances but three you know i, I try and meet i understand like we're not perfect we got our flaws you know and i joke about being perfect but i understand that like i have my issues i have my moments as a man but um I'm big on vulnerability. Like, once I let my guard down with you, like, and we step into a relationship, it's important for me as a man to know that when I, like, to the world, I need to, I have to be a super man type figure, but when I come home, I just want to be Clark Kent. I want to be able to yeah. be vulnerable. I want to be able to take off my crown and be able to know that, okay, I can trust you with valuable emotional information and that you don't use it against me. Um, yeah. And so, like, I needed to know that it's a safe space. But once you, once that's not tainted, it's hard for me to, like, I, I, I forget, you know, but that's what I said. I, I try to give people two chances. It's like, three. if, if I got to give you three chances to prove yourself, it's like, nah. Like, one what chance. Mean? Third time is a charm. That's what they nah, say. Nah, nah. At this point in time in my life, I don't know if I have that, that much. It's like, if, if it's the same thing, like, you, you're showing me, like, you're repeating the same mistake. No, okay. You know? So, I agree with you on that. Like, I feel like if you have a conversation with someone, right, and, like, it's about like a specific, you know, situation or issue and like they keep doing it and that's different because you already brought it to their attention and it's like, it's continuing. But like, through dating and relationship, like it doesn't matter how long you guys been together, there's always gonna like, things are gonna happen where it's like, whether you don't like it or it just rubs you the wrong way. So it's like, that doesn't necessarily mean it's like it's the same thing, but always, something is always gonna happen. So like, it's a pro it's a learning process it's for sure. It's definitely a learning it's process. It's a learn that's why I think it's important for the three to six months of just being friends and just communicating, having an open conversation, not Netflix and chill and not being in intimate spaces to where like we allow that honeymoon phase and, and the like the, the infatuation to override, you know, and we skip steps of really knowing who somebody is, you know. Yeah. So I think that's why that, that phase is so important to really just have to ask these type of questions to know like what do you think about this? You know, what are your thoughts on finances? What are your thoughts about kids? You know, like I'm big on that, you know, like again it's a serious process for me because I know that I'm gonna be married and like I believe I don't believe in divorce. So it's just like Whatever we got to do in this like this initial phase to really get to know one another, let's do that. You know, mm -hmm. like, and it's a process because we're not. You know, I I know that I carry a certain barrier. You know, that I'm not just gonna just drop my guard. Just like you're not gonna just drop your guard. You know, so it's a, it's a slow process. I don't know. I feel like I'm a pretty open book. Open book, but like emotionally, like opening is different. 
Agree. Yeah. So like we can communicate yeah. about like past things, but yeah. like opening up and like letting me in, and vice versa, and allowing you to come in and like feel like okay, yeah. it's my safe space without there being like a commitment there, you know. Um, which I which I don't I don't like. I like to verbally say, hey, this is where we're at, and then like I think for a woman, like knowing where a man is leading you is safety, you know. So mm-hmm. like, okay, like now, nah, like okay, this is what he says, and when a man his actions and his words match so I think that's that's a like a, a comforting thing for me you know what honestly that sometimes doesn't even mean anything because like I dated you know it's always like that like you you know you talk to your friends and you're like well girl if what he's saying something and he's not doing it then he's not the one but then I've actually dated you know people that or a person that was literally doing everything he said he like does like every his his actions match his words and then at the end it was just kind of like it, it didn't mean anything you know like it literally lasted less than like 90 days so to me like you said people can play a role to be like we're grown like people know what they need to say or do to like you know get someone's attention or like right. try to like make things work or like make things last however long they need it to last so to me, that's what like I don't. That's why I tell you like the whole ninety day. Honestly, like I mean that's your personal opinion, but because of my experiences, like anyone, excuse me, can put up that front for ninety days, six months. Like you be surprised what people do. It. So like, I just feel like I'm big on like time would tell. So like if you have that connection with that person, like time would only tell. Right. You know? I agree. I agree. I think I think it's hard for people to maintain that like persona more than six to eight months. I think like after that eight month mark, yeah. by that eight month mark, there, there's like has a been a person. lot, correct. Yeah. There's a lot of mean things like happening, but like, okay, like what's going on? <laughs> right, right. Like it's, I, I've seen like pieces of like the real you, but I think that's the point of all of that. I think that's the point of dating, you yeah. know, like it's a trial phase to see that and work through things. I think people today, like you said, are so easy to cut people off. Like I understand that love is work. It shouldn't be war though. You know, yeah. but it is work. It is effort. It is like okay, I gotta, um, yeah, I gotta change. I gotta, I gotta give this person space and room. What's people's um, biggest misconception about you? Um, <laughs> kind of like what you what you kind of alluded to. I'm a very confident person, you know. But it can be it can be taken initially when you when you don't know me fully. That's like okay, he's kind of cocky. Yeah. But I'm just a very confident person. I'm just very sure of myself. Yeah. But once women like get an opportunity to like, it's never been to the point to where it's a turn off for any women. It's like it's different, you know. Like a man that's sure of himself. A lot. Of, I feel like a lot of women have experienced guys that aren't sure of themselves and have like insecurities. Like, granted, I'm not perfect, you know, but I'm very sure of who I am and where I'm going. So I bring that energy initially to let. To, to give off like uh, kind of like the role that I play I'm very much a leader I'm very much like this is kind of a cliche to say but a man's man you know yeah. like I like that traditional role so I lead with that energy of like confidence versus like you wouldn't be attracted to a man if he didn't want to sure himself and very mm-hmm. docile and very weak you fact. know so but it's never been like negative but that's something that like if people only know me on the surface they might say that but right. um, it's appreciated like once you get to like really like understand me and it's like okay like this is not it's just who he is you know right um but other than that um i don't know i don't think i'm an easy book to like read i think people try and read me but i'm a very like i'm very social with people i'm very but i'm still very like closed off you know like yeah. I'm friendly with people, and so I'm very open in the sense that, like, I make people feel comfortable in my space, and so they feel closer to me than I feel closer to them. You know? um, so that's one thing. But what about yourself? Like, what's something that people like misconstrue about Miss Miss Kimmy? Oh, definitely, people confuse my personality. I'm very like friendly very like outgoing and people get me mistaken like by just because I'm that way like I'm not gonna like make a difference between like my partner and my friends Mm -hmm. so it's kind of like well she's like she's outgoing she's friendly so she doesn't want a relationship so I come off like the girl that just don't want a relationship don't want to have marriage and it's like little do they know that's like my ultimate goal like I want to be a wife I want to have a relationship but like just because 
I'm friendly, I'm outgoing, like, you know, I like talking to people, I like meeting new people, whether it's like guy or girls, like that's just who I am as a person. I have, as a person, I'm like, I have a very bubbly personality. People may like communicate that. And then they don't take that initiative to like, you know, date me or talk to me like, okay, let's have a relationship because they just think that way. And then when they see me in a real relationship, they're like, whoa, I didn't think that you wanted a relationship. And then now you lost your time because it's kind of like you misunderstood my personality for your thing. And I said like access. A lot of people be like, well, you know, because of your personality, people have access to you. And it's like access to me, like in what way? Just because someone has access to have a conversation with me, whether it's, you know, anywhere, doesn't mean they have access to me, like my emotional, personal, like my family, like things that are personal to me. Not necessarily, like there's levels to having access to someone like on a surface level just to have a conversation with them. Had nothing to do with like getting personal with me. So I feel like people misunderstand that too. They just feel like because I'm friendly, anybody has access to me. And I feel like that's completely wrong. But I'm never gonna change my personality. So like if I have to live with that, misconception about me then that's just what it is because that's who this is who i am i like being friendly and talkative so if you think a certain way of me and you don't let like time prove you wrong then that's on you that's the chance you didn't take so is it that people just take you as friendly and talkative or do they see you as flirty i think both i think they see okay. that i'm friendly and like flirtatious okay so in a relationship what does that look Oh, I'm not going to be flirtatious in a relationship, but I don't think I'm flirtatious single. It's just literally, that's how I am. Like, I don't think, I don't think to me, like, I'm flirting. It's just people think that because a girl is talking and she's smiling and she's, like, happy bubbly. It's like, guys like to take that credit. Like, oh, my God, I was making her laugh. It's like, no, that's just me. Like, I'm, I'm, ha I'm a happy person. Like, I make myself laugh, you know? But people are so quick to, like, fill themselves over. Like, oh, I was making her laugh. She was entertaining. She was giving me energy. It's like... No, I wasn't. I was just being myself and like laughing. Like it had nothing to do with you. So. What's one thing you love about your personality? That I get to meet a lot of people. My career is because of my personality. My previous job, um, I used to sell cars and I used to go like work at these like you know concerts that you know the dealership used to sponsor, and um, I was you know I was talking to people and I made friends with like this person that worked at my job now, this TV station and. Eventually, like after I got tired of selling cars and working hours, I talked to them. I, you know, tried to see if they could get me a job, and I got the job. I've been in this company for four and a half years. I never went to college for marketing, nothing about media, nothing about advertising, and I got this job solely because me talking to someone and just being friendly, and she helped me get the job. Okay, all right. I'm gonna switch it up real quick. So let's talk about like. So something that's um, important to me is my relationship with God. You know, I'm not a religious person, um, but I take my my walk serious. You know, so like, what are your spiritual beliefs? What does that look like? And what were your like? How did you grow up? Did you grow up Christian, Catholic, Buddhist? I definitely grew up Christian. Um, I like I'm the same way. Like I'm not gonna force no no religion into someone, but like you have to believe in something. And I think like. If you don't believe in anything then you'll like fall for anything so to me like god has to be like very present in like our relationship for sure okay what does that look like in your day-to-day -day life day-to-day -day, hmm, i mean as far as like what like how do you exercise spiritually oh in the morning like when i wake up i'll listen to like a morning prayer and like at night time i always you know pray because you have to be grateful for everything you have like especially like when you travel a lot and you see the way these people live and you come back home and you're like oh my god like you literally live like so blessed and like lucky as people say because of like the things you have and what we think is so little we're working for i want more i want more i want more you what you have it's like more than anybody that these people have right now so i feel like every day waking up and just thanking god for waking up a lot of people are like bottling with like health issues you know like not knowing if they're going to wake up tomorrow like and you know have another day of life so it's like the little things really matter the most other than just working so hard and i feel like you give me that workaholic vibe like you work a lot and i feel like if you're if you like you know you're religious and you're christian i don't know what your religion is but like do you ever sit down to just kind of like okay i know i'm working so hard to like have this whatever so that you're looking to you know pursue it but like do you ever sit down and kind of be grateful for what you already have yeah, so that's something else that people mis get misconstrued about me being an <laughs> entrepreneur. Um, 
I probably only work maybe like two, four hours a week. And I spend the rest of my time being gratitude, enjoying my life at the beach, working out, taking care of myself, reading, praying, meditating, you know. So like I went when I was younger, I went through that workaholic phase, gotta grind twenty four seven. Um, but I realized that's like a, a prison, you know, it leads to nowhere, you know. So I'm big on like I wanna have a family one day and um, I wanna be able to raise my family and be there. Like I don't wanna be traveling on the road and gone all the time. Um, I'm big on like I want to have past the strength of income to where like I have time, you know, more so than money, I have my time. Yeah, you know, is what I bring to the table. Um, I've been able to master and get control of that, you know. And it is not even to me, I give God the glory. I yeah. don't know how I got to where I am today, but I'm big on just like traveling, just enjoying life, you know. I'm very grateful. I sometimes do every day, I journal every day, and I just write out what it is. No, for. you journal, yeah. I journal. Yeah, I write yeah. every night. That's good. That's I literally good. have like so many books. That's how I actually got over um, my when my father passed away. The first year was like you know it's always gonna be like when somebody passed away. The first year is always gonna be the hardest year because that's like your first Christmas, your first birthday without you know them being there. So it's like a new feeling that you're experiencing not having that person. Yeah. So I've always wrote ever since like I was a little girl. So when he passed away. I had a book, and I still have it, from, like, every single, like, month, I would write, like, something, you know, how I felt, and that's how, like, that, that's what helped me, like, kind of, like, cope with everything, and now, like, sometimes, I'm, like, I don't know how to, like, now I'm learning as, like, I've had relationships, and, you know, things have happened, like, sometimes writing things, and somebody, like, reading them, they're not gonna understand like what you mean or like your point always. So like I'm learning how to communicate that more, but I've always like, if somebody asks me, what's your best way to communicate? Like I'm gonna write you a fucking five page letter and I'm gonna tell you all my feelings, but that's like the easiest way for me to like express on, like my feelings over somebody. Or like if I'm going through something and I just, I don't know like, what to do about it, I'm just gonna write it. Even like on my phone sometimes, like I just write a quick note about it. Like, uh, like by the time I'm done writing, it just kind of like, you just sometimes gotta like get it out and once you get it out and you read it it's kind of like sometimes you don't even want to tell that person what's going on you just kind of want to put it down read it yourself and then you kind of like okay now you understand how you feel and you move on so that's funny that you say you like journal yeah it's a very um therapeutic process i think it's easy to like read people and like kind of misjudge them you know i try and for me personally i've been working on like i'm not perfect with it but i try and work on being more of an open open mind like as I meet people you know I think a lot of times people like look at me and like hear about like certain parts of my life and they automatically assume that like oh man you probably like just all you want to do is work and like chase money and that's just like the very like right. missing my personality you know um, but with that being said like what does your dream life look like what are you working towards what is it what are some things that you're happy that you have accomplished and what is it that you hope to accomplish in the future I think I think I'm living my dream life, to be honest. I, I love my career. I'm able to travel. You know, the only thing that I'm missing out of my life right now is, you know, somebody to share that with, like, a husband and, you know, kids eventually. But, like, I don't want to have, I don't want to meet someone and, like, have kids, like, right away. Like, I want me and my partner to experience, like, life just for us. Because I don't have kids, but I know a lot of people that have kids. And kids truly change your life. Like, your time it's no longer your time so it's like as selfish as it might sound i want to enjoy my husband before these kids take all his time because now it's going to be all about them like i want to be able to travel with him i want to be able to have fun with him like you know whatever that is that we enjoy doing together i want to do that for a few years before we even think about giving our time to someone else so i feel like i love my life right now the way it is you know i'm grateful for everything that i have that's just the only thing that's the missing piece you know, a husband and eventually kids. Other than that, I'm happy where I'm at. Okay, okay. This is random, but what's your time span on like, from dating, like you're in a relationship with somebody to like marriage? Do you have a timeline? Like will you date somebody for five years? No, 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 marriage no I did that. And I was young, I was 18, you know, 17, I think. Um, my first relationship was like almost five years. But, you know, at that time, you're young, you're growing together, you're still figuring things out. But me now, as a grown woman, no. Like, if it's... I don't, I don't want to put a time to it, honestly, but it's definitely not five years. Like, I'm not going to be dating someone for five years. Like, I just feel like men know. Men know when she's the one, you know? So it's like, us women, we also know. 
So it's like, as a man, if you're dating me for all these two years and you still haven't proposed to me, like, then I'm not the one. Like, so I'm not gonna waste my time. Are you vocal about? Um... Whatever you asking me, I'm vocal about everything. So yes, that's yeah. a yes. <laughs> <laughs> Like, that's why I feel like sometimes I come across very, like, bossy or, like, demanding. But it's just, like, you want a person that tells you how they feel or someone that you're going to try to figure out how they feel. Like, I'm just going to tell you how it is. You're either going to like it or hate it and break up with me. Okay. All right. Well, I'm excited about this food. I'm excited. But you're going to like this food because it's going to be a delicious combination of steak, potatoes, little, you know, healthy green beans and salads. So. I hope so because if it's not good, I can't go in First of all, you're not the only one putting rules here. I like how you're giving me 90 days. Hey, if I took, hey, what about you? What are you bring to the table? Hey, well, yeah, this is you, a didn't ask, you didn't say. You, know, you didn't say. Geez. You didn't lay down no rules. Hey. I'm vocal about mine. You know, because I'm not, see, I don't have rules. Like, I just go with the flow. And if the flow doesn't go anywhere, then I cut things off. But you got all these rules. Like, I got to check all these boxes. Yeah. Can, right. you, can you put a fan up? Can you paint this whole house? Can you build me a house? Can. can you build me a house? Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. A man, a girl gotta cook as the laundry. What else I gotta do? I didn't say that. I didn't yeah. say that. Can I you just build said, me a house? I just, I just said it's, it tastes absolutely. Uh, look, absolutely. I went to Machu Picchu, and then man, they build that the whole thing with nothing but rock. So can you build me something? Absolutely. Like that? <laughs> I very much a skilled man. I'm We're gonna very, have the next Machu Picchu in Florida. We'll, we'll that that we'll see we'll see we'll talk about that. That's next. gonna be our next investment, Machu Picchu. In Florida. <laughs> I think it went pretty good. I think it went pretty like natural. Um, I think we got a lot of like key point questions that should be asked when you go on a date. I feel like people are so scared to like ask questions because they don't want to feel like it's like an interview. But I feel like you can just have a conversation and like ask all these questions as you go. Maybe because I'm in sales, so that's part of it. <laughs> you gotta get information on as you like meet with them. But pretty good flow go with the flow but still ask your question because the whole point of going on a date is to know if you want to go on the next thing with this person like how are you going to know this if you don't ask the right question that's how people get caught up in a six month situation and it doesn't go anywhere right uh, do you feel like there were any key things that you noticed anything that he did or said that stood out to you definitely that he's um he's a family man um he wants marriage and that means like he wants a commitment so he's dating to you know long term and a marriage is not just dating you know to like see what what happens okay so. anything else like any of his actions any of his body language that stood out to you he's very calm i feel like i'm very hyper he's like very calm so it like calms me down like brings me down to like his level so i think that's good okay. i usually go with like the hyper type of guys so I think that's different, but it's good. If this was a real date, would he get the second date? I think he would, yeah. Okay. Yeah, All right. Right. Don't show him this, though. No. <laughs> man, I think it was cool, man. You know, just an intro, you know, um, filling each other out. Um, I, I'm very, like, <laughs> my demeanor is very unique, you know. Um, but I think she, we handled each other very well. Um, you know, I, I'm i very much a... Uh, how can I say this? Like, I don't just have a very much a leader mentality. So I like to see that, like, a, a woman that can keep up with that. So I feel like Kimmy can keep up with my personality and she's not, like, nervous or scared. Like, see, you know, I, I give a little pressure and she gives it back, you know? So, like, I appreciate that, um, that we were both able to just kind of, like, balance each other out in conversation. And, like, I can be very sarcastic and, like, jokey and, you know, things that I say and do. Um, but I was glad that she didn't get like offended or like you know just allowing me to be me. So that's I think that's very important. So yeah, hopefully asking a lot more questions. Um, the first date I generally like um, I don't reveal a whole lot. You know like I could tell like the certain things she asked at the end like I very much do. You know but we didn't get that far into like me allowing her to kind of like ask me more. I'm generally more like a very slow opener to like revealing myself and who I am. I really like to allow the women that I date to like talk and give me their point of view, and I'll answer questions that they ask as well. Um, but like, it's it's a process, it's a journey. But I was able to like really get to know some core things about her that are important to me, and I think she was able to learn a few things about me. But um, there's there's a lot more depth, you know, to me than that that she doesn't know yet. So yeah, yeah. Okay. 
do you feel like there were any core things that stood out to you like any of her actions body language anything that she did this and, and maybe apply when you know going out there and dating and looking for that right person for themselves that stood yeah out? man honestly I, I appreciate her confidence i appreciate how vocal she is i appreciate that she's outgoing she has a bubbly personality um i can tell that she's very much a leader herself she's a go-getter she knows what, what it is that she wants um i appreciate it you know um when i asked her about her relationship with god and like you know that that's a, a major thing for me you know like um seeing if somebody has that relationship for themselves and what that looks like um and, and so to hear her say that and just a few other things that she said it's like okay all right good good you know I, i'm liking what i'm hearing so far so yeah, yeah. okay uh if it was a real date would there be a second date would there be a second date um i yeah i i'd, I'd go on a second date with her yeah yeah definitely just so we can just like dive deeper um you know that first date is kind of like you know there's both both you got walls up and like so I like to like jab and like be sarcastic to like break that guard down be a little funny you know like uh, I, I can be a little little a little overly confident or cocky on the first date but I do that intentionally you know because that's part of like who I am you know but after that like as the conversation went on we both got more comfortable with each other so the second day I feel like we could really just kind of like let our guards down and really be goofy and like talk more to learn one another so absolutely. Only my dick is gonna get a second dick. <laughs> <laughs>